Hello friends. So in this lecture of part three of QE theory, we are going to look into the examples. We will solve some of the examples based on the model which we have discussed in the previous lecture. <coughs> so let's start. So let's look into the previous concepts, right? What are the concepts, notations, and the formulas of queuing theory? The notations which we have discussed in previous lectures, I have quickly summarized all of this with the help of the notations only, right? And some formulas are also given of the single server model, starting with the traffic intensity, with the number of customers, number of service channels, maximum number of customers allowed in the system, which is n. All of this you have to remember, right, while solving the problem based on single server model. So there are around almost, you see here, 15th formulas are there, right? Remember each and every of the formula to solve the examples based on queuing theory, single server model. So let's look into the examples based on this model. <coughs> Again, we will quickly revise what are the assumptions of this single server model. Now, it is MM1 infinity infinity FCFS. MM is nothing but the arrival distribution and the service distribution respectively. One is for the single server, right? Again, infinity is the the space the which is occupying at, at the facility as well as the incoming population, calling populations which is infinite, right? FCFS stands for first come first serve basis. So, what do we assume in this kind of model, single server model? That the first one is that the calling population is infinite. First of all. Second is the poison process for arrivals and exponential distribution is for the service pattern, right? Service time, again, it is distributed exponentially and arrival is distributed poison. Clear? And customer behavior is, and the service behavior is normal. No renaging, no bulking, no jogging. Next, the discipline is FCFS, purely FCFS, which is most frequent one, which is first come, first serve. Next is that again we already discussed exponential service distribution here. Waiting space within the facility is infinite as well as the calling populations is infinite. And the last one is that mean arrival rate is less than mean service rate. If it is other way around, if the arrival rate is more than the service rate, then the queue is unmanageable, difficult to manage the queue. So beforehand we assume that the arrival rate is less than the service rate. So that we can easily model the problem. So let's start. <coughs> so in first problem, a television repairman finds that the time spent on his jobs has an exponential distribution with mean of 30 minutes. Now here, time spent is given, and exponential distribution of service service rate distribution is given, which is almost 30 minutes. Now if he repairs sets in order in which they came in, the arrival arrival rate Poisson distribution is given here. Again, the rate is given, which is 10 per 8 hour. Now, what is the repairman expected idle time each day? It means that we have to find out the traffic intensity factor. Right? After that, we will find out the idle time because what is 1 minus the traffic intensity is nothing but the idle time or idle ratio, what you can say the probability of idle time. How many jobs are ahead of the average that is set just brought? In? Now, let's start with the first. Uh, what is given here, which is lambda, which is 10 upon 8, which is 5 by 4 sets per hour. We will convert it to hourly basis. Clear? And the mu, right? Mu is given, the service rate is given, which is equal to 2 sets per hour. Right? <coughs> Obviously, 30 minutes is the rate mean. So, what will be the mu? It is 2 is per hour because we will be consistent here with the units. So what what is the traffic intensity factor? We again instead of we cannot we, we can find out traffic intensity factor, but the idle time here, if you see for the eight hours is, is equal to you multiply with eight and lambda upon me, which is the traffic intensity factor, which is coming out to be five hours. Right? Now this is he will be busy for five hours, but in eight hours day, if it is if he is busy for five hours, the idle time will be three hours. Here. Yeah? That is what is given here. So that is the first answer. 
The second one is the average number of TV sets in the system. What are this? The TV sets which are in the system, the formula is LS, which is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda. Just put down the values of lambda and mu and you will get the answer, which is around approximate two TV sets, which is in the system. In the system means they are waiting to be served or waiting to be repaired as well as they are repaired already. So it means that one is being repaired and was one is in the queue. Clear? So in this way, just by remembering the formulas based on the whatever criteria is given to be found out, we can easily solve the problem. So that is the first problem. So what is the next one? A self-service store employs one cashier at a counter. So one cashier is there here. Arrival rate is given which is 5 minutes right on an average and the service rate is given 10 customers in 5 minutes. The two things are already given. Now arrival rate distribution is poison exponential for the service. Now we have to find out four things. First is system average number of customers in the system. Second is average customer length uh, queue length you can say. Then the time customer spends in the system as well as the time customer have to wait before being served. So we will find out each and every case. So let's start with the given one. What is given? Arrival rate is given, which is here if you see every five minutes. Here. So you will get around 1.8 customers per minute. Here again, what is the service rate, which is 10 customers in five minutes. So it is coming out to be two customers per minute. So let us, what are the average number of customers in the system? So what is the formula here? LS is equal to lambda upon V minus lambda. Just the, the example we solved before. We saw this average number of customers in the system, this formula, right? So what we got here, we just put down the values. Lambda is 1.8, mu is 2. It, 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 come out of, it comes out to be in the system, the number of customers are 9. Here. Now next is average Q length which is lambda square upon mu, mu minus lambda. Again, you just put down the values 1.8 upon 2 into 1.8 to minus 1.8. Here, if you see, it is coming out to be 8. <coughs> so, you can easily see here, the queue of 8 customers and 1 is being served. So, total 9 in the system, right? Queue plus service, together they, call, they, found, they found, uh, are the system, they constitute the system. Now third is the average time the customer is spending in the system, waiting as well as being served. So that is 1 upon mu minus lambda, which is equal to 1 upon 2 minus 1.8 and is coming out to be 5 minutes. The customer is going to wait for around 5 minutes, being waiting in the queue as well as being served. Total 5 minutes the customer has to wait. And finally, the average time a customer waits in the queue. Now, obviously, it is definitely less than the system, right? Then the formula is lambda upon mu, 1 minus mu minus lambda. Just put down the values here. We have already found out in the given. And it is coming out to be 4.5 minutes. The customer is spending in the queue and 0 0.5 minutes, or you can say 60 seconds being served. And altogether 5 minutes waiting in the system. We have already found out in the third section, right? So in this way, just by formulas, Based on the formulas which I have shown, summarized in the previous slides, you can easily solve the problems. Here, yeah. now the third one. Arrivals at a telephone booth are considered to be a poison. Now here, arrival is poison already given, and the rate is given 10 minutes between one arrival and the next. The length of a phone call is assumed to be distributed exponentially with a mean of three minutes. This is service rate is also given here. Yeah. Now what we have to find out the probability that a person arriving at a booth will have to wait. That we have to find out the probability. That is a new case here. And telephone company is going to install a second booth. That is the new case where companies, telephone companies make a planning, right? They are planning to install a new booth, but they have to convince that the arrival would be expected to be at least three minutes for the phone. By how much should the flow arrivals increase in order to justify the setting of all? Second, we have to just we have to find out. Let's <coughs> now first of all, what is given here? The arrival rate and service rate is given. So we will be consistent with the minutes. We convert into minutes, right? Per minutes. 
And next, the formula for the probability of a person arriving at a booth will have to wait, which is nothing but it should be greater than zero, which is one minus p four, which is lambda upon p. Right? Just find out the traffic intensity, which is coming out to be zero point three. Clear? So that is what that is the probability the customer has to wait around thirty percent of the time. Thirty percent of the time, customer has to wait. Next is the Installation of the second booth will be justified only if the arrival rate is more than the waiting time. Clear? Let's lambda be the increased arrival rate. Then the expected waiting time in the queue is now here. If you see the formula, the lambda upon mu mu minus lambda dash. Now lambda dash has changed here. What is the lambda dash here? Lambda dash is nothing but one upon six per minute. Here, if you see the three minutes has been given, right? Now increase in the arrival rate. What will be the increase in the arrival rate, which is nothing but one minus six minus one upon ten, which is one upon fifteen per minute. That is what we get here. Clear? Now next question. New Delhi railway station has a single ticket counter. During the rush hours, the customers arrive at the rate ten up ten per hour. This is the arrival rate given at the railway station. The customer can be served in twelve per hour. Again the Service rate is given, right? We have to find out the probability that the ticket counter is free, right? So let's find out, and also the average number of customers in the queue. So first, what is given here? Lambda and mu is given 10 per hour and 12 per hour. Okay. Yeah. So probability that the customer is free, that is 1 minus 10 upon. That is, if if it is busy, the intensity factor we have to find out lambda upon mu, right? And when you Uh, subtract it from one, you will get the counter to be three, which is coming out to be one upon six, right? That is the answer of the first question. What about the second one? Average number of customers in the queue, which is nothing but this formula, ten square, twelve, twelve minus ten. What is ten here? Lambda square upon mu lambda upon lambda minus. Oh, sorry, mu minus lambda. So you just put down the values here, and you will get around twenty-five upon six. That is the Average number of see this is coming out to be in fractions, but on on average you can find out, right? On an average, how many customers are there in the queue? You can easily find out. And here, if you see, <coughs> around four to five customers are there, which are average customers there in the queue. They have to wait before being served. Here, so in this lecture, in this way, we have solved different examples based on the formulas of single server. Order, right? These formulas will be helpful to you if you are solving the examples of single server model MM1, Infinity, Infinity, FCFS. Remember them and just apply them. <coughs> Whatever is given to you, they can be tricky sometimes, but if you understand the example correctly, you can easily apply them and you can solve the problems. So in this, in next lecture, we are going to start with the new chapter, which is replacement theory. So in this lecture, we will start. We will go with the basic concept of replacement, and then we will try to solve different models. Around four to five models are there based on this theory. So we'll solve these models as well. So what we have learned in this lecture, we have different solved different examples based on single server model, right? And in next lecture, we are going to study about the replacement theory. Yeah. Till then, thank you very much. Goodbye.